You know, I just want to let you guys know that it's been a very, very long time since I've done two reviews in one night. So it means one thing only is that I'm back, man. And I'm really excited to be back. I loved reviewing. There were some times I reviewed probably like four shoes in one sitting. Obviously, you guys saw it as different days, but it's just a testament to, to, to let you guys know that I am back. So I'm really excited to be reviewing sneakers for you guys. I did miss you guys, and I hope you guys did miss me too. So, but if you guys are new to channel, my name is Joshua Dunn. I run Sneaker Vault, Cotini Corner, and Soul Talk. So there's a bit of, of everything for everyone, man. So the cool thing about the shoe that I'm reviewing now is that I went to go watch the, the premiere of Air. Um, this movie about how Nike managed to sign Michael Jordan onto this crazy, this crazy contract where it shaped not only sneaker culture in the world, but the possibility of athletes getting their own sneaker design specifically for them, you know, which I think is really, really cool at a time where the likes of Adidas and Converse were just making, sh were making shoes not specifically for athletes but for athletes on their roster so they'll have like let's for example the top 10 at the time you will have other players sign on adidas but no one will actually have their special shoe in converse you'll have mad you'll have you would have had magic larry and isaiah tom thompson on it but they don't have their specific or uh, converse all-star so i think what nike and jordan managed to do was a beautiful thing for sneaker culture as well as athletes in basketball man so I'm really excited to review the shoe. It's actually my first Jordan 1 low. Very weird. I have quite a lot of Jordan 1s and I, I have Jordan lows, but this is my first Jordan 1 low. So I'm really, really excited for it. And I always tell people that like Jordan 1s are, for me personally, they're better quality than Dunks, um, the Jordan 1 lows specifically. And it's weird that I feel like the Jordan 1 lows are also better quality than the actual highs that are coming out, which is kind of weird. But you guys should let me know what you guys think of that. I think it'll be a really nice converse a really nice conversation starter so please let me please let me know in the comments on what you guys think of that but yeah man so this jordan one is in the black gym red white i think this is not mistaken the the black toe or red i don't know reverse bread i don't even know what you know they come up with these names so many times but i'm really excited to um to to review the sneaker so let's get into the shoe guys so as you guys can see it comes with the black the black Jordan box, Jordan 1 box. I always tell people that they, must, they mustn't be too scared when a box comes in like this. It doesn't mean it's fake, it, it means it's real. There's just certain Jordan 1 boxes that come like this, especially lows. I know like specific, other specific lows that comes in the, the Air Jordan 1, um, the Air Jordan 1 OG box, but sometimes it does come in these. So don't be alarmed if you buy a shoe and it comes in this box. It's most 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 times it is OG. And I got this in a UK 10. So I haven't fitted it on, but what I do know about Jordans is that they fit true to size with my dealings with them. So if you are in the if you are in the 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 mood to get a Jordan 1, always fit true to size. Trust me on that, guys. But yeah, man, enough of those formalities. Let's open this. So this shoe dropped on Shelf Life. And I remember I texted my brother and I was like, you think we should get the shoe? He just gave me the eyes, so I know what that means anyways. <laughs> so, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. So, what I really love about the shoe, right, man, I was just, so, I was just looking at it before the review. I really love the leather on it. The leather is extremely soft, and I love the, I love the reds. Does The red does pop a bit more on the camera, but it's like a very dark blood red, and I really do like it, and you guys can see the the outer sole the midsole is white so let's get into the sneaker as you guys can see just look at that look at that leather and the quality check is so nice in this like you like i keep like i always have conversations with people who buy from nike is that you never know if you're gonna hit or miss with the quality check and i'm just looking at the shoe right now and all, although there are some glue stains i have seen a nike jordan in a lot worse condition so i'm really i'm really excited that i managed to get like a really nice pair so let's break the shoe down right as you guys can see the primary color colors of the sneaker are white red and black right and what i've really what i really like with shoes is that they've broken it into compartments right so you have majority of the color of the sneaker being red on the upper uh, black on the upper and then you have like these small spots of red so you have red over here red going around the heel and red at the black with the jordan swoosh and then you'll kind of have black in the 
in the middle of the sneaker. I don't know if you guys can see this is a Jordan logo at the back. So it's really, really nice. I'm I'm a huge fan of uh, the Air Jordan 1 Lows. I think they're a beautiful shoe for summer. And I think everyone should own a Jordan 1 Low for summer. For sure, for sure, for sure. And then when we go into the outer sole, you can see the stars. That's like one thing that like is so synonymous with Jordan. And like even the, the outer sole. This is such a Jordan 1 out of soul guys so i really love how this circle thing is over here and how it kind of looks like um like those old school like wi-fi bars like you can see the the poles over here and then the circle then these things are like radiating out so that's just me getting deep into it and i really like the wide swoosh on it so for me personally it's a shoe that i feel like in South Africa, we're going into winter. Some, it's a shoe that you can wear in winter as well. And it's a shoe that you can wear in summer. So I think it's very, very versatile. So if you're looking for a versatile shoe that can look really nice in a suit, I do know like a, a lot of the guys that we that we sell Jordan 1 Lowe's to at Soulmate, they always, they work at Standard Bank. So they're always coming for a casual shoe on a Friday. And I think that this fits the description because it's so nice and sleek. It's not very bulky like your Air Force One. It's very sleek. You can rock it with the suits and it'll look and it'll look really nice with a suit. So let me know what you guys think of this specific colorway. What how do you guys what do you guys like about Jordan 1 lows? Are you a fan of Jordan 1 lows? Or do you feel like there are a uh, there are an abomination like Jordan 1 mids? Or do you feel like you should just have Jordan 1 OG highs? So yeah, man. So like I said, you know, you can't have a segment without the sneaker ball meter so i'll give this shoe a lovely 8.5 out of 10 i think it's a beautiful looking shoe it feels really light in my hands the quality is really good the leather feels really really good not plasticky which is really important to me um and i just like the the nylon material on the tongue as well but like you know like i said it's a sneaker it's a sneaker ball episode so you gotta do the you know you gotta do this you gotta do this but yeah man like I said, I give this an 8.5 out of 10. Let me know in the comment section where you guys rate this. Would you guys cop the shoe? Would you guys cop a Air Jordan 1 low? I do know that Travis Scott has kind of made them very popular with his Travis Scott, um, his Cactus Jack collabs with the Air Jordan 1 lows. I know there is an olive colorway dropping soon, so I'm really excited to get my hands on, hands on it. Hopefully, I do get my hands on it. But yeah, man, this was the Air Jordan 1 low black gym red white in the black gym red white colorway let me know what it's called for shorts because i kind of forgot that but let me know in the comment section please guys but this is josh dunn i'll be back with another review peace and love